my name is Tashi and this is Beauty in the Bar. So today I wanted to talk about um, how you can grow long natural hair in the laziest possible way. Um, I've seen tons of tutorials on YouTube about growing long natural hair and it seems like people do so much, they spend so much time on their hair and they use so many products and I basically um, just can't be bothered to put that much time and effort into my hair. Like, you know, people, we have things to do. Um, women have things to do and we just don't have time to be doing all that. I mean, some people enjoy it, some people love it. I'm just not one of those people. So basically, um, I have had my hair natural. I, I mostly wear it curly, um, like, you know, in it's, its natural state. Um, and I've been that way since 2011. Um, I straightened my hair all from the seventh grade through my freshman year of college, almost to the end of my freshman year. And when I got to Howard, which is a historically black college, there were tons of other young women around me who had natural hair and wore it in different styles. And it just, um, you know, was very accepted and um, people were having fun and experimenting with their hair and it just made me feel like it was fine to just have my natural hair like it would be a lot more low maintenance and in addition to that I was going to like parties all the time and often on the weekends and I would go you know dance there would be all this moisture in the air and I would mess up my hair and have to re-straighten it so I was straightening it even more frequently, spending tons of time, and also damaging my hair, it was starting to break off. So those are some of the reasons I decided to go ahead and start wearing my hair naturally. So now I get my hair straightened, I would say two to three times a year. Um, and I have it straightened now so that you can see kind of the length that it's grown out to. Um, I don't like to have it completely bone straight, so I usually do the curls this way, but you can see it's grown out quite a bit. Prior to this, it never reached below shoulder length. So um, I'm just gonna tell you the few things that I do that have grown out my natural hair with me putting in not a ton of effort um, and the one product that I use pretty much for absolutely everything and it's not expensive, which is important to me <laughs> because I don't like spending tons of money. So, um, the first thing that you're going to need to do is moisturize your hair. Uh, moisture is super important because it keeps your hair from breaking off, it keeps your hair healthy, it keeps your ends from splitting, but you don't need 100,000 different products and oils and butters and creams in order to keep your hair moisturized. I think you should just find one product that really works for you and you know there's no if you want to experiment that's fine but there's no reason to need to. The product that I use is Aussie 3 Minute Moist Deep Conditioner. It's the one that comes in the purple uh, cylindrical bottle with blue writing on it. Um, I think now they've sort of, you know, rebranded it and it now says with jojoba oil and avocado oil. But it is the same product. It works amazingly. It's The bottle is very easy to use and that is all I use on my hair. Um, I use it as a co-wash, I use it as a deep conditioner, I use it as a leave-in conditioner. It is basically everything. Sometimes I'll experiment with other things. For instance, I'm experimenting with the Melanin hair care line now, that Natural 85 um, Whitney uh, here on YouTube has, and I really like it, but ultimately I don't need it. And, you know, I grew out my hair like to this length prior to ever trying that, so. It costs about $5 in Walmart and every drugstore. Um, and you can get it on Amazon as well, so. The most important thing is just to moisturize your hair. I um, I moisturize my hair once, once or twice a week. I used to do it uh, every day, and I think that's probably the healthiest for your hair is to moisturize and co-wash it every day. But you can also do it every few days, once a week, and still you know have your hair in pretty good shape. Um, but what that means is you're not putting in a ton of effort as far as moisturizing, like you're hopping in the shower, you're wetting your hair, you're putting the conditioner in it, washing your body, and then rinsing the conditioner out. And that's 
pretty much it. Once I step out of the shower, I'll then like put a little in my hand, run it through my hair as leave-in conditioner. And that's all I need to do to moisturize my hair. I guess a little is an understatement. I put a glob in my hand and run it through my hair and especially on my ends and my hair is moisturized. The second thing that you have to do is to keep your ends protected. And what that means is keeping them away from anything that they could rub against and break off. Your ends are the weakest part of your hair and they tend to hang on things like your clothing. Um, I, I noticed that my hair was never growing past shoulder length and so I had this theory that the reason was that my hair was rubbing up against my clothing and breaking off. So I started to keep my hair up. I you know, had it in twists, I had it in you know, a bun, almost every day I would say five days a week um, and my hair started to grow down past my shoulders because it was no longer rubbing against things and breaking off so it's very important to just keep your ends up and away from anything that can damage them obviously I would have my hair down sometimes on the weekends I'd let it down and that's still pretty much what I keep to now that I'm a working professional and no longer a student I keep my hair up in a bun five days a week normally and then you know on a weekend sometimes on a Friday so maybe sometimes it'll be four days a week but on the weekends I'll let my hair down and then on Sundays I'll do it um, detangle it and put it back up for the week so the third thing that you have to do is leave your hair alone you have to limit the amount that you're manipulating your hair when you want your hair to grow it can be very um, it can seem like the thing that you need to do is to do as much as possible to your hair, to constantly be moisturizing it, detangling it, touching it, all this. But that is just, again, having your hair rub up against things. You're constantly touching your hair in the same way that if you were brushing your hair all the time, it's actually not good for your hair. Um, it's not good to be manipulating your hair all the time. You wanna keep it detangled because you don't want it to get crazy and matted, but you should manipulate it as little as possible to keep it detangled and moisturized. So I detangle and moisturize my hair once a week. Um, I get out of the shower, I detangle it, I put it into flat twists or braids, and I put those into a bun, and that's pretty much what I do for the week. If my hair starts to look frizzy around midweek, sometimes I will untwist and then just retwist each, each twist or each braid. Um, but I'm not going through and combing out and detangling and doing all of that. It's just retwisting so that the hair looks a little bit sleeker. So um, it will just allow your hair time to breathe. It will keep you from breaking off your own hair. Every time you're combing out your hair, every time you're manipulating your hair, you're losing strands, you're potentially getting split ends, you're damaging your hair. So just leave it alone. It's hard because you want your hair to grow, you want to be proactive, but there's nothing you can really do to make your hair grow faster. Um, I mean, there's certain supplements you can take. You can take biotin and that will make it grow maybe a little bit faster. Um, eating a healthy, balanced diet is probably the best thing to get your hair to grow maybe a little faster, but most importantly, healthier and shinier. Um, but yeah, the most important thing is gonna be just leaving it alone and being patient. So that's it, that is the Lazy Girl's Guide. It is literally, I spend, I don't know, probably an hour a week on my hair, maybe an hour and a half total. Um, and that's just because my hair takes forever to detangle because there's just a lot of it. So that's about it, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video or you found it helpful, please go ahead and like the video and consider subscribing. Um, and I will see you in the next video.